James Foley joins us now live from inside northern Syria. Yes, thank you. There's snipers in this building about one o'clock. In the beginning, we were under a spell of the front lines. There were a number of journalists, and it said, this is way too dangerous. Shit! That day, something was really wrong. Who was killed? They warned journalists, Al-Qaeda is coming. Maybe even worse than Al-Qaeda is coming. These four guys with guns, they stopped the taxi, and they put Jim into the back of their van. For the next three weeks, there was just dead ends. But then the first email came to me. We have James and want to negotiate for him and want money fast. As a hostage, we were so scared. We lost all hope. You never know what's going to happen next. And that's much more difficult to deal with than the beating. FBI seemed to have their hands tied. I realized that nothing was being done rumors and people being scared of talking. It's the event with the second most recognition in recent American history after 9-11. There are 15 European hostages who are alive. I wish we'd negotiated. I wish we'd started sooner. This is Jim Foley reporting. Oh, yeah. 